In the last months I've been sharing in different forums and video posts my opinion about which could be the trends uh, that will shape 2011 and I've been requested several times to summarize them and put them in perspective. So finally I have decided to create this list of uh, recommendations split into those uh, which affect the traveler behavior and those directly related to the media world. Of course 10 and 10 to comply with the non-written rule but don't blame me if I fail, I'm just guessing for the sake of it. Traveler behavior. First uh, recommendation, not to forget the boomers. This year, baby boomers will celebrate their 65th uh, birthdays at the rate of 20,000 people a day in the Western countries. These boomers have time, money and energy to spare. They also have a deep thirst for experiences and that holds true across income levels. Boomers will value the expertise who can help them craft the fantastic experiences they want, trips that nourish, rejuvenate and enlighten, learning and volunteer vacations, customized adventures. There is too much at the stake for these travelers to book through the internet if the pure transactional site don't evolve. It is not what is the cost of the airplane, it's what is the cost of that week in terms of it's important in my life. Women boomers uh, deserve a special remark. Expect to see a growing number of a single woman over 50 traveling with uh, their friends. Compared to earlier generations, those women are more highly educated, more empowered, more independent, more powerful in almost every single way. Many have also inherited money from their husbands or parents and they have a passion for learning. Women boomers are a market that strive for the picking as they are taking up any invitation from friends to go anywhere where they can learn. They are saying, I'm going to Patagonia, do you want to come? Second recommendation, the search for me. The recession and its aftermath are renewing uh, consumer focus on uh, meaningfulness, making people look inward at things that are really important to them. What matters now are families and friends, education and self-improvement, health and spirituality, creativity, community involvement and the environment. Travelers are willing to spend a lot of money on travel experiences, but they need different reasons to spend. Three, recommendation is sustainability. Environmental awareness is influencing consumer choices in a big way. Concern about sustainability and the planet is top of mind for everybody. People seek out companies doing green things that are cool. Use that as a selling tool. People are willing to pay more for things that are really important to them and green issues are one of those main things. For every strategy, new product or service, you must pay attention to the fact that over 98% of consumers in every market worldwide view themselves as environmentalists. Four recommendations, the influential traveler. Brands selling direct to the consumer are not complemented by consumers recommending to consumers. In some ways, they are hijacking brand marketing for all products. We like approval from others and people that we know especially, but this collusion of opinion and information is not always the truest form of uh, value. There is always a blend to that fact, and it's not uh, about you or me personally. It's about how the numbers are used, and what uh, will be more important the year is how relevant all you see, hear, do, tweet really is. So as a first step, ratings should become deeper than one out of five star rating, or was this helpful? We are going to be able to sift through the hyperbole of quantity. Then we can say that quality will become the new quantity. The fifth recommendation is a defensive mindset around spending. 
Consumers are hedging their bets against events or circumstances that might blow their budgets. Only with this mindset is understandable on divorce insurance, which covers the cost of divorce logistics, increased sales of frozen foods because they won't go bad, and wedding day insurance that reimburses couples if it rains on their special day. That will suppose the growth of all inclusive travel options that make it easier to budget and the increase of trip insurance, especially if they are creative and go beyond loss uh, luggage. Successful travel marketeers will need to appeal to travelers a strong sense of value. Sixth recommendation, internet ubiquity. The internet will be every place. It's converging with TV, with computing, with cell phones. It's a convergence of uh, all this information technology into one kind of appliance. Every consumer purchasing decision is going to be mediated by this convergence. The move uh, to, to uh, uh, mobile computing, mobile communications, uh, mobile transactions uh, is going to transform consumers always connected to devices that give me choices. Brands need to learn how to navigate this new territory. It's about influencing the influencers, having in mind that perception is reality and monitoring and understanding your reputation is more important than any ad a business can take out. Since 1988, I've been hearing that next year mobile will be peak and each year it never happens. Until now, the Android and Apple platforms are solid well-engineered and ready to change our world. Application and optics have been the two elements that complemented the mobile cake. Gone will be the short leaf and quickly unused app candy that has been prevalent in this first era, era of smartphones. 2010 was a platform building year for mobile now it's time for leaf off final. 7. Historians are trickling out. The way that news and culture influences the spread has undergone a profound change. Things that are impacting culture, what we are talking about, are truly clean up. Stories communicate and they spread quickly, so you use the power of story in marketing and social media. You want to create influence, you tell a story. A story is a new flavor for marketing, the enduring flavor. Clearly our next evolution in the digital world is moving beyond a simple fascination with new apps and devices and the true application of them in our lives through valuable and relevant content. No longer will we, will we have the shallow mash of video banks that produce uh, banal instruction and information with no context or emotional connection. 8. Better Web Experience HTML5 will start invading a lot of work, some of it super creative work and some banal and purely functional. Again, this wasn't purely because it was better than everyone else. It's a device-driven uh, change. In the end, HTML5 will take a sizable share of the development work for new media. And what then only our collective imagination can tell us uh, trouble will not accept less. 9. Recommendation Discount Shopping Formula Groupon is probably the first to come to mind. And the principle in itself will be the next phenomenon of online retail madness. But it has and probably will become as a natural progression in social media and online shopping. And with Facebook joining the game with its virtual uh, currency, Sky is the limit. Finally, 10, last uh, of the 10 uh, recommendation or reflection on travel behaviors. Location, location, location. We all know Foursquare has made an impact on social media and those who consume it. Facebook will simply turn up to build and dial and will have Kindlet, the subscriber of uh, Fast Square. But this isn't just about people checking in anymore. Now businesses can instantly register all the locations and you have a networked location experience, which could be a good thing or a disaster. Like many features uh, that come and go, this one won't go away. 
and Facebook, Google and others will play hard to win. And clearly, mobile technology is changing probably behavior, providing more access to local and location-aware advertising and information. Let's now focus on the media world and reflections, recommendations. The first one is uh, agency consolidation. There are too many agencies and digital services for clients to manage. People like to say that social agencies are winning over traditional digital agencies. Traditional digital? Really? But that's too much of a red herring to ignore. All digital agencies, some specializing in one area or another, are competing. What will hurt them all is too much specialization. There are too many devices and platforms shifting and changing to make uh, pop-up agencies rationalize the value. Many times this past year and the future months, the mobile and social of the inextricably linked will be competitor, competing for client budget. It's not a competition when uh, eventually you are competing with yourself. So what all agencies need to do is acquire, build, mentor and refine capable technologies and people that are all working harmoniously and are measured in an egalitarian form. It will be the next agency model. Second reflection is pain for the content. The last stage of adolescence uh, for publishing is happiness. The big publishing brands have been our virtual parents of content for long enough. This will be the inevitable jumping off point for the poignant and the popular in publishing. The New York Times is now a paid subscription and many others will follow. What will separate the wheat from the chaff of online magazines and news is how valuable they are to the reader. The pain for professional online content will be the true end of the physical publication and it seems that the public is ready to cut bait. Obviously, the speed of this change will differ from country to country. 3. Media trading and public and private exchanges. A year ago, demand side platforms, DSPs, were a novelty. Today, there are power to reckon with. As this segment matures, we can expect to see mounting pressure from buyers to increase transparency and decrease margins. In 2011, we will, uh, we will also see growing support for mobile, video, and rich media of a real time within RTB exchanges. Parallel to the growth of public exchanges and DSPs, uh, agencies and publishers have been actively pursuing an alternative solution, one that could retain the efficiencies of a public exchange, yet provide qualified media opportunities to agencies and help publishers protect inventory grading and avoid channel conflict. For most of 2010, the idea of private exchanges was nothing more than a dream, but this quickly materialized with both publisher-driven solutions, like the one from Weather.com and AtMeld, as well as with agency-driven solutions like Vibaki's private uh, ad slots. For reflection is uh, social unrest. The social network is making serious waves, and this is not just at the box office. Facebook media buying application programming interfaces, APIs, have spanned a foray of search engine marketing providers like Efficient Frontier, Morning Software, Kenshu, Dover Search Center to display. What we need to be aware of uh, is that Facebook's strict survey and tracking and data sharing policies are disrupting the status quo amongst marketeers, third party servers, and publishers. Five recommendations, fifth recommendation proprietary data. Data brokers like Blue K and uh, EX Elite but they're facing some certain challenges as both publishers and marketeers increase uh, efforts to control and monetize the data themselves. Massive efforts by agency groups to aggregate and leverage marketing data are reaching critical mass. Habits Digital or TAMIS uh, and uh, WV, WVPP SAP are agency created tools that enable optimization without requiring full party data. More advertisers are starting to connect customer relationship management CRM, data into integrated marketing platforms, which can be used to analyze performance and retarget consumers across marketing channels. 6. Dynamic Creative Optimization DCO, going mainstream. Kicked off by the Google Charizard's decision in late 2009, the consolidation trend continued in 2010 
with the medium apps, Android and Yahoo Doppler acquisitions. However, quickly following the high was a realization that creative optimization is not an easy execution when done in a silo outside the main campaign workflow. Focus has shifted to execution, service reliability and scalability. As this CEO makes its way into marketing mainstream, there are still some operational holders to overcome. 7. Remarketing heaven. Combining media and creative optimization is done with great success by performance optimization companies like Google, Guteo, Fetchback, Dotomain, Xperforma, and on. I know several like I, which use media and creative optimization for retargeting, mostly based on CPC or CPA uh, models. Using quantitative methods, uh, their success confirms the logical assertion that finding the right audience and telling the right story work best when done uh, in content. 8. Figuring out attribution. Measuring out effectiveness uh, is all about capturing the value created by marketing activity. The next logical step is to attribute that value to the different activities, channels, buys, etc. In order to understand what constitutes success, although attribution has been a hot topic for years, I believe 2011 will be a turning point where many more marketeers, including brand focus agencies, will effectively apply attribution modeling and go in a 360 degree view into consumer behaviors. It will be a major step forward in a line of advertising measurement, aiming to move digital closer to the TV model so expect to see new ideas from companies focused on measuring actual consumer actions rather than surveyed attitudes. 9. Mobile display. As always, mobile marketing remains as challenging as it is uh, promising. The wild fragmentation of devices, technologies, vendors, etc. makes any mobile display campaign complicated. However, there is reason for optimism. With the increasing acceptance of buy side to body serving, Solutions like those for an AdMob after its integration with Google, marketeers can start thinking about managing and tracking mobile together with all the postures of their media plan. And last but not least, the tenth recommendation is basic rich media. Advanced rich media is sufficient to have secure and distinguished place in marketeers' minds and wallets. Technological innovation will continue to drive new creative and groundbreaking execution in advanced rich media. But it's also important to recognize how far basic rich media has evolved as well. The do-it-yourself whistle-like tools allow users to create templated ads utilizing basic rich media formats and features, including palette expansion, video, etc. In some cases, ads are constructed automatically using existing web for other assets. Google is setting the standards in that direction. The low price point opened up rich media to both marketeers and publishers, which traditionally tend to stick with the standard banner ads.